Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, I'm Captain Gamer, and let's play Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Last time, we encountered Salazar, the man in charge and the owner of this whole castle. He clearly is a part of Los Illuminados. And if here's this door won't open. And Salazar kind of didn't really do pro anything proactive because he believes that Los Illuminados have already won since Leon and Ashley have been previously injected with the Las Plagas parasite. So it is a race for, a race against time, at least flavor-wise, to free ourselves of the parasite before it takes us over. It's locked. What a sturdy door. A prison, perhaps? I don't know what, what would give you that impression, Leon, but why not? Gonna look out this window to see if there is anything over here. I see there is something to attack. So, let's take out our trusty semi-automatic rifle. And... What is that? He does not look very nice. And it looks like he has more interest in hurting Leon with those hands of his. I don't suppose it's possible to get him between... to shoot him in the eye and kill him beforehand? Nope. How about an unprotected part of his body? Um... Okay. Looks like that's not going to accomplish anything. So I'm just gonna move ahead as the game intends. And see what is ahead. You know, I can believe it if there is a prison to hold that guy. That guy looks like the sort of person who would be imprisoned. I mean, I imagine people would want to imprison him, but I can't imagine he would let himself get imprisoned so easily. Oh, hello there. We have found 5,000 pesetas. Pretty nice. I just know that whoever or whatever is down there, we're going to have to fight him. He is going to be very mean and uh, want to do... is going to do very hurtful things to Leon in both a physical and emotional sense. Uh... Did I hear something? Those are barrels. I'm... I'm hearing a sort of windy backdrop, but... I don't know if that means... Oh, it's the flames. There are flames everywhere, aren't there? Alright, I've got another yellow herb. Fascinating. Could I combine two yellow herbs and get the effects of both of them? Oh, there's nothing to be lost from combining this to this. And then I can just go ahead and combine... Whoops! I can have my Wii Remote wig out on me for a little bit. I can combine these, now I have my... My stoplight herb. And my regular herb here. Mm -hmm. So now I have two sources of getting extra HP. What is this letter here? Capture Luis Serra. I have confirmation that Serra has entered the castle. Why he would return during his escape leaves me to question his motives, but we must seize this moment and capture him. We will get to the other two Americans after we apprehend Serra. It appears he took some vaccines when he stole our sample. Vaccines we can also do without, but we must retrieve the sample, for it is our lifeblood. I feel there is somebody else or some other group involved in this whole affair, as you have said plenty of times before. If the sample were to get into the hands of that other entity, the world which we seek to create will not come. We must apprehend Sarah as quickly as possible. So if you are so focused on Lewis, why am I seeing so many Ganados in my path? Should every single Ganado and Zealot be going for Lewis? And it looks like I shouldn't be getting close to those flames. What's this over here? Does this picture go down too? Oh, I got the prison key. Normally that's a good thing, but I saw that guy down there. 
This isn't gonna... This is not going to be pleasant for me, is it? It's locked. What a sturdy door. Prison, perhaps? Yes, it is a prison door, because here's a prison key. I use the prison key. Oh. That just opened right up. And... <laughs> that guy sort of looked like uh, Wait. Dark Knight Rises Bane with a little bit of Wolverine. Oh, man. I have a feeling I will need some burst damage on this. And not burst damage that takes time to set up. I really, 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 really don't want to get closer to him. Uh, but I'll have to if I want to complete my mission. I'm just gonna skirt around the room a little bit and maybe hope that I can solve a puzzle in here without disturbing the guy. At least not disturb him too early. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have a bell here. I wonder if that I wonder if that has some, some sort of application. Either that makes him go, or that could be used in the fight. I don't quite remember. I know you do something with the bell, just not sure what. Mm, this is starting to bring back some memories that I do have about this game. Oh, I can take something. What can I take? Oh, it's a green herb. Yes, I think uh, more healing items, the better. I am... I'm just genuinely really nervous about this guy. Anything over here? Nope. Let's see if I can do any more pot shots on him. Maybe I can take his HP down somewhat before we initiate the inevitable fight. Well, he he seems to be bleeding Plaga blood, but it doesn't seem to be doing very much. If anything, it just seems to be like the game is just doing a natural uh, response subroutine with his uh, head there, so... With his body. His uh, body is reacting. Yeah, if a hit scan weapon hits his body, then it quote-unquote bleeds. Oh, I think I know what this boss is now. So I'm gonna go ahead... And, uh... I think I know what this guy's gimmick is. Let me see if I can ring the bells by shooting them. I can! But it didn't seem like the guy... ...was, uh, moving from it. Ugh... <laughs> Look at this guy! We're gonna see much more of him than we than I'd care for. Ooh, his eyes are... His eyes are, uh... They're sewn shut. That is the switch to turn off the flames. I know that much. And he still doesn't take any damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the hardest press of the A button I will ever, ever do in my gaming career. Oh, I thought the loud noises were going to startle the guy. <sighs> and this isn't even the scariest thing in the game yet! Whoa! 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 Where is he? Is he still? Oh, there he is. So his eyes are sewn shut, so he can't see. But if I recall, um, he can hear very well. 
based off of my prior knowledge of the game. So let's see. So if I ring the bell, yes, he will go after the source of the sound and then attack there. Oh! He... He's just gonna destroy the uh, bell. Oh, there's his uh, plaga. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! <gasps> oh, and running is go- and he can hear me running. That's another thing. Okay, go after that. And he stopped. He hesitated. Why is he hesitating? Oh, he's not hesitating. Yeah, I hit your plaga, sir. Oh my god, is he dead? He's dead. <laughs> oh, so much ado about nothing. 15,000 pesetas, very nice. But I have a feeling, just like the, uh, the Ali Gigante fight, I am not going to be so lucky with the environmental hazards to my advantage. Yep, that, that got rid of the flames. And his body's still there. So I'm going to try getting out of here very quietly. And also, I, I used up a lot of rifle ammo, taking him out quickly and easily. So I'm going to have to hold off on use of that for a little bit. Oh. oh, thank goodness, regular zealots. You I can just take out with uh, um, shotgun shells and uh, crowd control methods. But not if I do it from too far away. You have a plaga? You do not have a plaga. That is good for me. Oh, but you dropped some ammo. Or an incendiary grenade. The incendiary grenades also work. You have a plaga. Follow me. Uh, oh, there you are, Ashley. Why did you... Oh, did I, did I tell her to wait by instinct? Those are pretty good instincts, I have to admit. And there goes your second head. More shotgun shells, always welcome. Speaking of shotgun shells, going to keep as many shotgun shells active as possible. I have a few incendiary grenades. I guess next time I come across a crowd control situation, I will make use of those. Wasn't there another zealot over here? Uh, yes there was. Oh, you have a grenade! Oh, that was lucky. Ashley, come over here. Wait. And, and wait for me, please. What is that I'm hearing on the other side? That seems to be some sort of flapping sound. Oh, it's an arrow. So I'm just gonna get over here. Whoa, that guy has some good aim, but my aim is better. At least I'd hope. Whoa! That was some Robin Hood right there. Thank you. And there's another one. He who strikes first loses. Follow. Huh. Thank you, Aiming Ridicule, for telling me how long the uh, Zealot is still alive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that actually marks the first time in this Let's Play when I was focusing so hard that I didn't even realize I was focusing hard and not talking. But hey, um, extensive aiming can do that for you. Extensive aiming under a stressful situation. Drop your grenade already. Or your dynamite, whatever. Get back, Ashley. He is packing the... Oh, no! Thank you, and then your grenade's gonna go up. Mm -hmm. Thus ensuring you do not have a plaga that will come back to bite us. Or slash at us. Hello, sir. Yeah! Whew. 
After all the unsure situations, that was very, very nice. And as much as I love my handgun ammo, I would much prefer to have rifle ammo. And this is a green door. Did I miss any treasures on my way through? No, I did not. And it looks like we have a nice and branchy path ahead of us. Which I will deal with next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. I'll go ahead and get more of those puzzle pieces to complete the picture, open the door, and frankly continue on with the storyline. Until then, game out.